Low key. But looking forward to playing this game again. <laughs> Welcome back to Bingus Bongus's Freezeria. And of course, who could forget his trusty delivery truck driver, Kyle. So apparently today's a holiday, so we need to get in the festive spirit. I don't really know what that means because holidays are kind of a new mechanic for me because I'm pretty sure Wingaria didn't have that. I also said last week that I was going to save up for the auto ice cream machine. Yep, for now, I'm just going to worry about their clothes. Wow, why is Kyle way more festive looking than Bingus? What could possibly be different? Wait, yeah, they're wearing the same clothes. They're wearing the exact same clothes. Yo, screw it. Let's get this going. Starlight Jubilee. And a new customer. Hello, Boomer. Pomegranate. Mulberry medley. Okay, can, can we pause with the pomegranate? People put that on ice cream? Hi, welcome to Bingus Bungus' Freezeria. I haven't touched this game in a week, so I'm gonna be incredibly rusty. I'm not gonna remember where everything is. I'm gonna serve someone the wrong food again. Um, all right, we need medium. I'll get back into the swing of things. It'll be easy. It's like riding a bike. And then you need the... Wait, shit. Did I just fuck that up? Oh, they wanted... Okay, I'm a fucking moron. All right, um, someone just came up. Hi. There's someone at the table who I can't see, and they ordered the thing that I don't remember what it does. God, why does it take me so long to stare at that now? Why? <laughs> why am I just? Why am I forgetting everything? Let's leave that up there and try to get this thing done. No, one second. I'm not done. I'm gonna let that person wait for a moment. Okay. Um, hi, Lisa. Can you speak faster? She changed her order. That is definitely not what she ordered before. We need that thing. Move this here. We'll accelerate this, and then we'll see if we can just knock out order one and two. Let's pull out order one. We need this, and then we need this. Because I don't remember anything's names, you're gonna hear me say this and that all the time. God fucking damn it, what now? God, who's the psychopath that wants pomegranates on their ice cream? Take that person's order, and then I'll serve this. Hi. Oh my god, everybody's like, everybody's in the festive season here. Everybody's got the nice outfits. Let's see if we can just handle order one for now. Uh, I gotta go check on the blender. I think that's been in there for a while. Oh yeah, it's been sitting there for a bit. Alright, the chocolate cremo, it's... This. I should probably get order four set up. They want a large. They want blueberry. And whatever that is. What how when do we have that on the menu? Alright, one chocolate cremo. Oh wow. Ah, I fucked up the toppings. God damn it. No, go away. Um, let's get this. And then they want blueberry. And then of course Oreo and cherry. Let's take this order. Hi, I've never seen you before. I gotta check the blender again. Order faster. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, oh, wow, right on time. Uh, let's get order three out there. This is done. Oh, wow, that was perfect. Thank you. Who the fuck is it now? Like, I'm gonna wrap this one up, and then I'm gonna go and talk to the person. Wait, no, I just served that. Shit. <laughs> I've completely fucked it up. I've spent an entire, like, week not touching this game at all. And now I'm suddenly forgetting everything. Okay, that person's waited long enough. Oh, you! I completely forgot you were gonna show up. Shit. This is the guy I was talking about last episode. This is the dude who actually, like, I need to impress. Um, first off... Uh, this order is done. Alright, yeah, I'm just fucking up the toppings because I'm moving really fast. I'm trying to get all this done. I'm kind of getting back into the swing of it, though. Let's swap this out. Honestly, I'll get his ready ahead of time. Yeah, honestly, I'll like super blend this one. <laughs> I'm just gonna get this one ahead of order five. I don't know if that has any negative ramifications serving everybody out of order. Gotta make sure I'm careful with this one. Should probably check on the blender. Uh, yeah, this one's done. All right, we just need one banana. Honestly, that order was pretty straightforward. Yeah, that was amazing. That was perfect. See, I'm still fucking up the toppings. It's because I'm going so fast, I keep fucking it up. I wonder how you would code this. I wonder what it calculates that percentage. All right, last order of the day. Brilliant. Ugh. <laughs> Honestly, didn't go as rough as the other day I had in the last video. Pretty successful holiday. I was expecting that to be a little harder. I also think the mini games are now just looping back, which is fine. I have plenty of tickets. Okay, hit 10 baddies. I can only afford to miss once.
Look at that. Aim Lab Master. I don't know how much of the mini games I'll show since I keep, uh, since we're just getting the same ones again. I, I might as well burn through all my tickets for this. Yeah, it looks like there are 15 enemies that are gonna show up. Easy. Alright, so now we can kind of change our clothes here. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, is this holiday spirit? There's not gonna be another holiday, right? That was just a normal- this is a normal day now. I think it'd be funny if Bingus Bungus is actually taking this remotely seriously. And he's like actually in the uniform, but Kyle, he's just wearing fuck all. Yeah, like something like this. He's also got a belt too. Now he's just wearing his normal glasses. Alright, look at all the- look at all the nice machines we got here. Look at all this. It's what everybody ever wants when they come to an ice cream shop. And then I need a another table, because why not? This place is gonna get cramped. Oh, wait a minute, is it still a holiday? Either way, we should go to the shop, and we're gonna buy the auto ice cream machine. How about we get on with it? Let's see what's going on here. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> Every day, they find another way to make it harder. You earned a blue ribbon. For the next three days, customers will give better tips because you won the award. Courtesy of JoJo. Let's see this thing work its magic. So, medium. That is amazing. I love technology. Gotta get my muscle memory back in. That's always how work is. My actual job is like that too. Who's on the phone now? Hello. <laughs> this is Kyle speaking. Why? Why do they always order this? Oreo and then... Bruh. Fuck. <laughs> that... Wow, I completely screwed that one up. Yeah, when you have a job, you start to realize how much less free time you have. Then you start to notice that maybe you're not sleeping as well. And then you remember back to all the days as a kid where you're like, I don't want to go to bed. And then... Your dad never warned you, like, son, you're gonna realize it one day. And you're gonna realize how nice sleeping is, and you're gonna thank me. I do know someone's there, I just need to finish this. Hi. Wow, you you are here, like, all the time. Oh, another order? I probably should change out the special order. Alright, L. here's the first impression. Ah, I keep fucking up the toppings again. Get this one going while we finish the other one. I always have to keep reading this because I keep forgetting what it is. God, who the fuck is at the door now? And then, of course, I need this and then of course i need three oreos let's just take this person's order and then serve the other one and then go grab number maybe i should check it now honestly oh shit damn you really came back for the same order thank you i want to see what a really good player looks like at this game fuck because if you were looking for that kind of person you came to the wrong player <laughs> Star customer. What does that even mean? Pink pomegranate. Thank you. Oh, fucking hell. What now? Oh, hi, Boomer. Yeah, sure. Okay, Boomer. Whatever you say, Boomer. Uh, let's see if I can finish this one really quickly. You go in. And then... Honestly, I'm getting faster at reading these. I just need to get faster at reading these cards. My actual remote job feels like this to an extent, where I just slowly get used to how everything works and where everything is. Because when I first started my job as a tech support agent, I was just like, shit, they're showing me so many applications and random crap I need to access and how they all work together. But then it just all became really natural after like a couple weeks. Oh, hi Kahuna, welcome back. Oh, I got a perfect score on that one. I don't know why, this game is just really therapeutic. It's really relaxing. I wonder if any ice cream shops are actually like this, where they just have one man running basically everything. I wonder if that actually exists somewhere. That'd be a pretty interesting business franchise. If a person just opened a bunch of restaurant uh, chains and then just had one person basically running everything in that store, just one individual all-star employee, you'd probably have to be a very talented person. Not to mention just really fast and really attentive to everything. Now the thing is, impressing closers is not exactly as efficient because they only seem to show up once a week. So it'll be a while before they ever start giving me more money. Bruh. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, you know what? He gets an extra. Yeah, that was kind of a fuck up. I can't believe I did that. That was so bad. I completely misread the card. I don't know why. My brain just said, let's make the ice cream serving look symmetric. I've been waiting for this run back. I also realize I have way more time than I thought. <laughs> Lime zigzag floor. Thank you. Excuse me? What the heck? goddamn hell? Okay, hold up. Run that back. I am the biggest goddamn idiot in the world. Okay, I, I kind of get what's going on here. So, I need to rotate this. The red pipes, you can't move. However, the problem here is I need to just create a circle. Like that. Got it. What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is happening? What is this? 
I'm so confused. That game was harder than any of those mini games I've played in Yeah, You Want Those games. We're gonna kid him out in some style here. We're gonna... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is something Kyle would wear. I feel like he's... Bingus is very much traditional. This is something Kyle would wear. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that... That was a really jarring change. I don't know. The red and the green might actually go together. Um, I kind of want to change the lining in the back. Let's change the desk color to maybe like, yeah, that looks nice. I think it's time to retire this. Let, let's actually just change this out for maybe, huh, pink pomegranate looks fine. How many more goddamn ingredients are in this game? Oh my, uh, how much money do we have? Oh, wow. We're just short. Yeah, it might be worth looking through these. I'm not exactly sure why these themes, um, what these themes change about the restaurant when the holiday happens. I actually don't know. Oh, wow. And we can just buy holiday related clothing. And my God, are there a lot of holiday clothing? Wait, honestly, we can get some pretty goofy ass costumes. This would be great. We gonna dress them up in the most ridiculous shit ever. All right, Kyle, I'm going to have you take a trip out to the parking lot over here and serve some random bullshit that you create. We pretty much just need to serve like one person. Let's just serve this and see what happens. Hi, I've never seen you before. Thank you for the money. Kyle really served one ice cream and then just peaced out. It's kind of interesting that theoretically I could just grind the food truck free play and just get all the money I could ever want. I don't know. That seems like a boring way to do it though. I want to do it naturally through progressing through the actual like day by day events. We could get ourselves a regular alarm. Actually, this could be good. And it looks like when I buy one of these, it affects all of the blenders. Hello, Shannon. Pouticle syrup. Wear clothing that matches the holiday to boost your holiday spirit and earn even more tips for being festive. Oh, it is still the holiday. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Okay, that's kind of interesting, though. Rather than just, like, in the in the previous game, in Wingaria, you would just chuck random garbage into your restaurant and hope it improves the waiting score. Now there's actually a reason to swap out any of your decorations. Hi, Utah. Uh, the pink pomegranates. First order of the special today. All right, how about we go for... We'll need this. And it looks like we need this. Uh, it's not blended in any specific way. It's just blended to regular. We need a pink. Watch, someone's gonna jump right in and just surprise me. Someone's gonna suddenly show up, right? While I'm trying to finish an order. Yeah, exactly. Without fail, it always happens. This is a cherry on this side, and then something on this side. Let's just pick up this order. Hi, Wally. Can you talk a little faster? Yeah, everybody's changing their orders. Or is it just because it's the holiday? I have no idea. This is order one. First impression? Perfect score. Actually perfect. This order's about to be done. So what's going on in the pink pomegranate? So we'll need pink whipped cream. We need strawberry. And then I assume they want pomegranate on it. Otherwise, it would just be called pink. And then we need one cherry. And then two of these guys. Uh, I do know someone just showed up. Hi, Nevada. Yeah, I haven't made order three yet at all. Take a look at order three first before we finish. And then they need the... They need that. They want blueberry. And then they want strawberry. And then this is the pink pomegranate order. That was a perfect score. God damn. All right, honestly... I don't know who the fuck is whom's order. I legitimately have no idea who ordered what here. Actually, yeah, this is making- No, wait, no, this is- This is order three. This person wants two of these. Two of the sauces. Shit. God damn it. Who's this? Hi, Tony. What the fuck? No! God damn it! This is- This always happens. This happens every time. I should have checked. Shit. Whose order is this again? This is order three. Yeah, my bad, Wally. Oh, okay. It didn't matter. Oh, wait, no. no I'm, why am I apologizing to Wally? It's whoever ordered this. Uh, let's go ahead and make order five. Because then we can just do... We can do order four while we wait. Hi, Captain Corey. Welcome back. All right, let's, uh, let's finish this guy up. And then you need a banana and whatever these things are called. Whatever they're called, they are tasty. This person's also ordered the... Pow sauce. This will be my masterpiece. Surpassing any ice cream I've made before. Alright, Tony, how you like that? Oh, wow. 
<laughs> I was just talking out of my ass. I didn't think I'd actually get 100% on that. This is the last order of the day, so let's just speed this one up. All right, let's get some of this on it. I might have to go back uh, by the end of the day. I'm going to need to rethink my base design. Base design? What is this, Minecraft? <laughs> What I meant to say was, I need to rethink how the restaurant looks. Alright, how do you like that? Oh shit, nearly 100%. Alright, we did good out there, Kyle. Yeah, I have not pissed off a customer yet. Honestly, any mistake I've made hasn't really bit me in the ass that hard. Oh, come on, guys, you're putting me to sleep here. This is even easier than the last time. You're like, why are these minigames strangely fun? They literally could just make a game where they compiled every single minigame they've made for this game and just everybody would still play it. Why am I already inherently faster than them anyway? Oh shit. Let's not get cocky here. Yeah, there was like no contest. They, they couldn't touch me. I wonder what happens when I get all the stars. I hope it's worth it. Oh shit. You bitch. Damn you, Wally. Get back here, you bastard. Dude, he's, he actually destroyed me. Yeah, honestly, I think I just got destroyed. Yeah, wow. We need to match the holiday theme. Like, I don't know why we didn't. Oh, hey, I get to see pretty much every holiday that's here. Holy crap, that's a lot. Maple mornings, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, all the normal stuff, and then all the all the original events for the game. Let's go Starlight Jubilee. Let's start by that. What the fuck? I can choose between the colors? That's crazy. Why are you able to modify the details of the shirt? That's so unnecessary, but so cool. Honestly, this parka, this definitely looks like something Kyle would wear. Starry jacket? How about we purchase the starry jacket? Let's get some let's get some clothes in here. Now you now you actually look fit for the occasion. Kyle is fully fit for the occasion, as usual. Uh Bingus, he's not quite there yet. Hello, Roy. Welcome to the family. Rocket Whip. Isn't Roy like the protagonist of the original pizzeria game? Wasn't he the main character? I'm pretty sure. I, 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 okay, believe it or not, I actually did take a look at this game's wiki. I just wanted to know how many of these games there were, and I noticed that this game was the only one that's ever been ported to Steam. But yeah, Roy is from the pizzeria game. He's the, he's the player character. I don't know, I just think it's kind of cool that all these characters are just recurring throughout the game. Throughout all the games. You know, Papa Louie has an extensive cinematic universe with all of its own lore and characters. Like, I'm not even kidding. Every character has some tidbit of information of them relative to the universe they live in. How about... I like that. I seamlessly wove that in. The muscle memory comes back to me. I think it's funnier to have me only play this game once a week, because then I become super rusty and I make more mistakes. Maybe it's funnier to you guys. Or do, would you rather see professional gameplay? Would you rather see a seasoned Papa's Freezeria veteran? Okay, look, nobody's perfect. Let me just finish this order. And then I'm gonna go, like, see what that's all about. Okay. Hi, Shannon. Let's, like, blend this so we don't end up getting caught up uh, with that in the blender while I'm serving someone. All right, Roy. For the man who started it all. Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure the Papa Louie, like, game series was even before, like, the Game Arias, or so they're called. I'll finish order two and then I'll go out and see who's there. Because, like, there were some other games where you just played as Papa Louie. Something like that. Hi, Tony. Let's play a little game. How about, let's see, before I serve the customer, I have to guess their name. I have to see if I can remember their name. How about that? Like, anybody who shows up to the front counter, I have to guess their name before I try to serve them. Wow, nice. Thank you, Elle. This person wants the rocket whip. New on the menu. Only at Papa's Freezeria. And you also want the rainbow sprinkles. Oh, shit. It's fine. They're not going to miss a sprinkle. They're not going to notice. You know what? Something's in the blender, isn't it? Is it ready? Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Um, oh, it's not. Okay, perfect. Honestly? Wow, I caught up. Uh, it's gonna be... Zack. <laughs> who, who the fuck is Zack? What the fuck did I just say? Oh, shit. God damn it. I was so thrown off by my own stupidity, I did something even dumber. We're literally just waiting for the pink pomegranate. Um, I want to imagine that's the closer at the door. Uh, let's put that here. Um... Beasley? <laughs> it was Grammy! I- I- uh, I almost had it. Uh, how's this doing? Okay, I think I can speed run this. Let's get the order five down. So, we got pink whip, strawberry. 
I need to create code names for everything so I remember them better. Fuck. That was actually like a substantial amount of whipped cream I just dropped. Honestly, I love this pomegranate canister. I love all the canisters. They all look so cool. Not like the boring, like, shaker canisters that they normally give them in. Here you go, Pally. Remy's order. Let's do this. Maybe if I keep saying the character's name to myself, I'll remember everybody's names. It's, it's like, I've always wondered, I've always wondered about being a teacher. I think I stopped wanting to be a teacher when I was maybe in, like, middle school. And I was just like, you know what, maybe being a teacher is more trouble than it's worth. But I feel like it takes a lot of work to just remember all your kids' names. I don't know, maybe it just comes naturally to you as, like, the year goes on. You do basically spend an entire year with those kids. So maybe it's not as hard as I think. So, like, maybe when you run a restaurant and there are regulars all the time, is that weird if you just remember the name of your customer? Is that weird? I don't know. I think the customer might just have the revelation that they come to the restaurant too often. I've had revelations like that. The only place I ever went to where someone actually just remembered who I was, it was the PETA place where I would win a free Euro for playing Miss Pac-Man all the time. Because the manager of that restaurant had a high score set for the Miss Pac-Man machine and you won free food if you were able to, um, to beat it. And I just went there really often because I was really good at Miss Pac-Man. Not to mention it was like the hacked version that made like a turbo Miss Pac-Man mode. So it made it even easier to beat the high score. Look at that, Aim Lab Master. I didn't think I'd be doing some aim training while playing this game. Is there anything in the shop that I want? Yeah, all of this stuff is kind of expensive, so we don't need it for now. Oh, there we go. Now you're fully in the holiday spirit. I guess, like, I forgot to put on these pants. I completely forgot to. The, I'll check the parade later. Yeah, this stuff's for, like, Halloween. Yeah, I get 440 lobby points. So I guess if I decorate it enough in a certain theme, then I just end up getting double points, I guess? You know, I want to buy, like, a star bucket hat. I just want to. I know it's like, I should be buying more important things, but I just want to. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now you're fully in spirit. Hi, Rico. Welcome. And we get star sprinkles. Basically everything related to the holiday te theme. Who the fuck is that over there? Hello and welcome to Papa's Freezeria. <laughs> How fast can I create this? Do you think I could actually serve the first person before someone shows up? I don't even know if that's possible. Like, these, these things aren't very fast. Even when you speed them up, they still take a bit of time. Hello. Hi, Boomer. It'd be interesting if this game had more of a story. Like an overarching story that you would follow as the game went on. I don't think they do that. There's another game I actually plan to play that's literally going to do that. <laughs> It's like part restaurant management and then part roguelike. It's gonna be actually be really fun. And it's got a story too. I plan to play it when I get around to it. It, it just came out of early access. But I think I mentioned on my Hades stream, I just had a lot going on right now. I've got a lot on my plate. Who the fuck just dare come into my restaurant? All right, who is this? Hi, Mitch. Oh wait, yeah, I, I forgot. I gotta guess everybody's names. Oh wow, amazing first impression. Nice job. Nice job, me. Let's pull this out. Um, let's just do this one and put it in the blender. I like leaving things in the blender while I'm, uh, doing toppings. I feel like that's just a better use of my time. Oh, shit. Oh, who the hell just walked in now? Alright, who is this? Um, your name is Shannon, right? Yeah, yes, I got it right. Got the person's name. She also has a special order for me. Alright, order two, getting served. Absolutely perfect. Order four, we got medium. This thing's really nice. It like, it basically just saves us a step. This person's order is incredibly straightforward. Nice job, Mitch. Thank you. Now I got it perfect. That one didn't take much effort. Let's speed this one up. I think the closer is gonna be showing up soon. Actually, there's supposed to be a fifth person showing up, right? I'd be surprised if they gave us less people. Who's this? Hi, Utah. See, I couldn't guess who that person was this time. I wanna say it was a medium, yeah. So it's strawberry and then it's one of these shit. Um, oh, fuck. This person's also the rocket whip. The rocket sprinkles. Shit. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. I'm, I'm going too fast. I need to take my time here. I don't know how many orders you can have in one day. I wonder how crazy it gets. Because right now, I'm kind of cruising. Even if I fuck up a little. Banana butter. Your name... Karen. <laughs> it was Quinn. Shit. Let's just blend this person's uh, ice cream. So I don't have to think about it. Strawberry sauce... Or is it syrup? Syrup or sauce? Frosting? I don't know. Masterpiece. Perfect. Pink pomegranate. And now we just gotta blend this one. We gotta get this one blended right now. It's nice when you have one last order and you can just speed it up immediately. Oh, this person doesn't want any of the sauce. Fine by me. Less work for me. How you like that? How you like that, Quinn? I'll make sure to remember your name next time. Yes. Oh wow, I actually got it 100% on that. 
Nice work. Oh yeah, blender ball. I remember this. Fuck. Shit, god damn it. <laughs> it's like, I, I understand what to do now, okay? I get it, I get it. Can I get him a visor or something that doesn't obscure his hair? You know what? I like this hat. Let's get this one. Yes, this is exactly what I want. It's fine. It obscures his hair, but it gives him a really funny looking hat. We'll take off his gloves for this one. Oh, hi, Misa. Mesa? Misa? Cherry bomb topping. Unlock all Starlight Jubilee toppings. Man, she's actually kind of cute. Hello. It was really funny going onto the community page for this game. I decided to take a look at it because sometimes I just like scrolling through community pages for Steam games. Do you realize how many characters in this game have their own little sub fandom within the Papa's Papa Louie franchise's fandom? It's actually kind of wild. Especially when there's so little information to go off on this on these characters. This is Kyle speaking. Welcome. Welcome, Rico. Welcome back. I know like the perfect voice for Ki for Kyle. He has like a really he has like I, I can't really describe his voice, but I can kind of hear it in my head. Because it sounds like exactly like a friend I had in high school. I don't really like how he did the whipped cream. Why does it look lopsided? Matt? No, Marty. Shit, I knew it started with an M. I knew it. I knew it did. Alright, how you like that? Oh, wow, I got a perfect score. I don't really like how he did the whipped cream, though. I want to say the strawberry and then, like, the... What is that? Glass? The... <laughs> that... <laughs> Cherry lemonade? What does that even mean? What does that sign even mean? Hope we're not trying to put glass in our ice cream. Perfect. Uh, we want this... This, this, was it Willow? Olivia. <laughs> God, I'm fucking all of these up. I don't remember anybody's name. Yours is also strangely simple. All right, this is order two. I know that for a fact. I've got a system now. I've got a workflow. Over here, we're going to start serving this one. I can kind of see it from here. I don't need to move it to the main uh, ticket. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys, come on. I'm not perfect. And then I got a cherry in the center. Wedge between two of these. I don't know what they're called, but I know they're tasty. How you how you like that, Marty? Sorry about the whipped cream. Shit. Put that in. Someone just ordered. Hi, Iggy. I haven't heard from you in a while. Brownies. The, the moon, I guess. <laughs> I don't fucking know. All right, how about we do that? Again, I keep saying this and that because I have no fucking clue what to call any of this stuff. Wow, there you go. <laughs> if you think about it, it looks a lot like her. Your name was Robbie, right? Yeah, okay. I actually got one right this time. I think that'd be a nice recurring game we can play. Try to guess the name. Who's that character? How about this? We'll speed run order six. Get it into the blender. Pull the other one out. All right, then we can do this. All right, Iggy, how you like that? And then we just gotta wrap up Robbie's order. Um, why did I blank for a second? We need this, then we need the cherry bomb. I don't know, why does it, why do I keep thinking that this is like spicy? I don't know, is, is there any ice cream out there that's spicy? That'd be really weird. Oh shit. Wait, did I fuck up something? What happened? Um. I think I get it. There we go. There we go. Got it. That one's not as interesting. This one's like, okay, though. Customer coupon. Send one to a specific customer to get them to visit again. We could. Like, I don't see the merit in these. Because it's like, I normally only have one thing in the booster. Let's get the customer coupon. Maybe we have someone we can, like... Oh, you can purchase more of these? Oh. All right, because I can, maybe I could just get enough money that we can buy another booster or something. Or maybe we could just preemptively buy one of the clocks. Look, we'll blend something normal, okay? Let's see who buys this one. You know, with absolutely no effort put into it. Okay, maybe I should put slightly more effort into it. All right, let's put one of every category on it, you know? Let's put one of these. And maybe a cherry on the side, and then we can dump some peanuts on it. That's another thing. I don't think I've ever seen peanuts on ice cream. I don't know if I'd have peanuts with ice cream. That's kind of weird. All right, that's $3. That's it. That's plenty of money. All right, Kyle, pull out. Here's the thing. Which one will I expect to see first? We have smooth and we have chunky. I didn't get a good look at the clock, so I don't remember which one comes earlier. I want to say it's chunky, because I'm pretty sure if you blend something long enough, it becomes smooth. All right, so this should be the last day of the holiday week. 
Oh yeah, it's payday too. And we get a new customer. And more more shit we gotta keep track of. All right, hello Chase, how are you? Welcome. I gotta remember, I still gotta try to remember everybody's name. Take a guess and get everybody's name right. Oh wait, hold up. No way, no way I predicted that perfectly. I am a fucking genius. I am an actual goddamn genius. It's like I knew a customer was gonna show up. This customer wants a chunky sundae. Blend it half the time of a regular one. All right, I think we got time to take your order. Hi, Iggy. Please make it quick, please. Let's go back over here, get him a medium, and then the, the moon sauce, and then we can go and pull this one out. So he wants pink whipped cream. He wants whatever this is, and apparently pomegranates, and also the rocket sprinkles. For fuck's sake, I'm still working on my shit. Let's go take your order. You're, I forgot to guess the name. I didn't know the answer anyway, by the way. All right, that one's almost done. I think order one's good to go. How's that for a good first impression? How about this? We'll speed you up and just be done with you. Perfect. And then we'll go back here and work on order three. Want strawberry and then you want the rocket color. This is Iggy's order. I need coconut sprinkles. His order is actually pretty easy. All right, we might as well take this order. You are Tony. I know that for a fact. You are Tony. I actually got that right. Ah, perfect score. We almost got five stars with Iggy too. Iggy has been here. This is his fourth time here. That's order three sitting right there. We want to get order four out. So this is a medium. I know this is strawberry and then glass. <laughs> Legitimately have no idea what this flavor is. Here you go, Shannon. Sorry about the whipped cream. This is also Shannon's fourth time being here. All right, so I speeded through all those. Like, I'm just waiting for another order now. Hello, Kingsley. Wait, we have a s'more flavored... We have a s'more flavored thing? Since when? Yeah, we have had one. Did we just get that today? How long has that been there? I, I literally can't remember the last time someone ordered that. So you want pink frosting, and then I believe they want strawberry, pomegranate. Was it cherry on top? For fuck's sake, who is it? Yeah, it's a cherry, and then whatever the hell these things are. You are... Exandra? Yeah, you are Exandra. All right, I actually got that right this time. That's how much of a goddamn tryhard I am. I know everybody's name in this game. There you go, Tony. How you like that? This is also Tony's fourth time being here. Pink pomegranate, one ticket, and I even get an apron. All right, banana. And then while that's cooking, we'll just get this one done. All right, that's order five. Here you go, Kingsley. Also, Lisa's with him. It's kind of nice how they all hang out together. Let's make sure we don't fuck this one up. Then they also want the rocket sprinkles. I, I, I already said this, but I just love how the canisters look. Um, I have no idea. Oh, shit. She wants this. Yeah, that's what she wanted. I almost fucked it up. Yeah, I kind of missed the sprinkles again. Just moving too fast. But I have yet to fuck up a closer's order. Even though I was pretty bad at it when I played Wingaria. Customer cravings returns. How could I possibly lose? Oh, shit. <laughs> I legitimately don't remember. What did Roy like? What did he order? <laughs> All right. I got that completely wrong. Oh, no. I want to say it's this. It wasn't the s'more. Yeah, okay. I knew that much. Because I don't know anybody that ordered the s'more. I feel like today that was the first time I saw that. You ordered something like this. You just came today. You were literally here today. Ah, oh, shit. She didn't order a large order. Fuck. I think I got them mixed up. I think I, I got them mixed up. I knew neither of them ordered a large one. Or was I wrong? Shit. This really wasn't her order? Whoa, that was a guess. That was actually a guess. Oh, nice crop zip jacket. So that's Chase. That's Akari. And that is... That's a dude from the Lost meme. This guy also just showed up. He showed up literally yesterday. I'm gonna take a guess and say he ordered the new flavor. I don't recall Akari ordering a large order. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, man. That got hard. I don't know how I'm gonna get to the max level on that one. So it is payday. And I guess... We could look into buying these boosters. Yeah. A second and third booster, that wouldn't hurt anybody, right? Ah, I see. So the coupon I bought, I can send it to any character here on the roster. And they'll show up the next day. 
So looks like it doesn't work on closers, obviously. Let's put up the big top carnival poster. And maybe we can look into changing the floor and the wall again for this week. Or maybe just the floor in this case. I think that could be a fun tradition. Maybe every episode will just change the wall and the floor. Because let's be honest, let's not keep it the Minecraft wool texture forever. <laughs>